four dams along the Klamath River that starts in Oregon and flows through California to the Pacific are coming down. And as the water is drained from the reservoirs behind them, huge tracts of land are exposed for the first time in decades. Yurok tribal members are on the front lines restoring the river habitat, seed by seed. There's a lot. I think there's 2,200 acres or something of land that needs to be reseeded. And so we have our work cut out for us. The plan is that someday in the not-too-distant future, the Klamath River will flow freely again. It's a vision that grew out of some long-standing tribal efforts. The tribes of the basin and, and our partners have been working on this for a really long time, like actually trying to get these, dam remove, these dams removed for over 20 years. And, uh, you know, at the early, in, early on, we were just kind of laughed out of the room. But, you know, people persevered and put up, you know, we, we lost a lot of battles along the way, but we won some and, and here we are. It's, it's massive for the indigenous people especially, but, but all the people of the Klamath Basin who care about the ecosystem, you know, because the river uh, is, is such an important aspect of tribal people's lives. Uh, you know, we evolved, we believe we evolved here on the banks of this river and, and kind of hand in hand. And, uh, you know, Yurok tribal people and, and other tribes along in, in the Klamath Basin feel like our, our health is directly tied to the health of the river. And if you have a, a river that's impaired and a river that's unhealthy, then the people are going to be unhealthy also. And this has been the, um, the status quo for a long time. Uh, you know, the river has been unhealthy and, it's, and the um, fish runs have been depleted and there hasn't been a whole lot of positivity uh, around the river and, and its health um, until recently when we started moving in the direction of dam removal and, and found and have worked so hard to you know, many, many people worked so hard to get us here. And now we have this this huge movement um, forward in the right direction, it feels like. Don't get me wrong, we still have a lot of work to do to, to heal this basin. Uh, you know, dam removal is the single largest step we can take in the right direction, but it's only one step of many. We're, we're going to be working to restore this basin for generations because it's taken generations to get us to this point uh, of degradation that that we, we've been experiencing in the last couple of decades. So it's a huge victory for, for river advocates, but the, the fight isn't over to restore this basin, and we're going to be here working for, for a really long time. Stuart Huntington, ICT News. <laughs>